so today we are actually going to solve very disliked and yet very popular lead code problem that has been asked at tons of different companies so let's get started with the question so the lead code problem we are going to solve is called text justification now you can see that this is a lead code hard problem and also a very controversial problem because it has more dislikes compared to likes but i think is the only reason i'm solving this problem is because this has been asked at tons of different companies so let's try to understand the problem statement basically we are given an array of string called words and we are also given a number called max width now we need to format the text such that each line exactly has the max width character and is fully justified from left to right. Now there are some conditions that we need to follow in order to complete this exercise. So we should pack our words in the greedy approach that is pack as many words as you can in each line and every single word or between two words we need to have at least one extra space when that is necessary also we need to make sure that every single line exactly has the max width characters now we are also being told that whenever we are dealing with extra space between the words they should be distributed as evenly as possible but in case we realize that the number of spaces on a line does not divide evenly in that case we need to divide it between the words and if there are empty slots on the left we are going to be assigning more space on the characters on the left hand side and the last condition is that for the last line of text it should be left justified and there should not be any extra space inserted in between the words and that's it now there are bunch of different conditions so let's start to understand this with some of the actual examples for this problem now we are given a um, a string or string of words such as like this where it says that this is an example of text justification and we are being told that the maximum width in, in every single line we can have is 16 characters including the spaces nothing more than that so let's try to see that how does the solution for this problem should look like now the thing is first let's see that how many characters this this needs this has four characters then this has two characters and then this also has two characters and this example has seven characters so let's try to sum up and we are trying to root for or find the greedy approach and trying to find as many words as possible within the boundary of 16 characters plus we will have to consider at least one space between any single two words which means what I'm suggesting is that instead of treating this as like 4, 3 and 2 by its character size, we are actually going to add one more value to it. So let's assume that this is 5, then this is 3, this is also 3 and this is 8. Okay, so now let's try to do the sum and see how many characters can we fit in. So for this one, we maximum is 16. Now if we do some of these three characters, then it we get the value as 11 and then 11 plus 8 if we try to do it goes 19. So 19 actually exceeds the value we are trying to find which means we cannot include this character example. Okay, so after realizing that we are only going to be working with these first three words. So we have this first word that is this second word is is and third word is n. Okay, and we need to put this in one line such that the first word starts with T inside this given line. The last word has to be n because we don't want to have extra space after the last character for this particular line. Okay, so this has to be first word. This has to be last word and we need to have in total 16 characters now the thing is originally we saw that we were considering 5 and then 3 and then 3 in terms of characters but now let's not consider these spaces let's only consider the values of the characters which means this is currently four characters long this is two characters long and this is also two characters long which means in total we are working with four plus two plus two so total eight characters we already have which means we will have to add eight spaces inside this first line that we are trying to create which means we can put four spaces over here and we can put four spaces over here because remember there should not be any space after this character n so in this case we are going to build a string like this so first is going to be this then there are going to be four empty strings then there is going to be character is and then once again there are going to be four empty strings and then we are going to have the character n and this is going to be the first part of the answer where we have created a string 
that contains exactly 16 characters and we will still have to iterate over these remaining files so let's try to do the, repeat the same process once again so let me just write down this answers at some place now let's try to find the second line and let me also clean this up a bit now let's repeat the same process for the remaining characters so how many number of characters this example has it has seven but we also need to consider space so there are going to be eight characters this off is going to have three characters this text is going to have five characters and this justification is going to have 14 characters and since this is the last character we are not adding an extra space and remember there is also a dot or the full stop behind this line that this is also considered as an extra character so now let's try to do the sum so if we do 8 plus 3 we get 11 11 plus 5 we already get 16 which means we are by default default at the 16 character mark which means we cannot add this justification so now let's try to deal with just these three words and once again we are dealing with example and then off and then text but now we are not going to include spaces for now because we will have to do that calculation so now this is seven characters this is two characters and this is four characters so if we do the sum we get the value 13 which means in total maximum width we need 16 which means we still have three extra spaces that we have to distribute but the thing is now this is not an even number of spaces this is odd number of spaces so we will have to divide if we try to divide this by two we get like 1.5 but this is we cannot divide 1.5 spaces so we are going to divide two spaces between here and then we are going to put one space here because remember there has to be at least one space and also if we divide three by two we get like two options uh, two plus one so this is how we are going to distribute the spaces so second answer is going to look like this where it's going to be example then we are going to have two spaces then we are going to have off then we are going to have one space and then we are going to have text so this is going to be the second line of the answer so let's let's also mark this one as well Okay, and now in the end, we are only dealing with just single uh, word or in the in the last line and this word contains 14 characters. So we are going to have it justified completely on the left side of the portion. So the answer is going to be quite simple that we are simply going to create an answer with justification and whatever is the remaining value or in order to make it 16, we are just going to add extra spaces and this is going to be the answer. This is the total three strings that we will have to return and this is the whole explanation of the problem now how to solve this problem well actually i was also solving this problem along with explaining the problem because we don't have to use any extra specific data structures we don't have to use any extra characters nothing like that the simple logic is that we are simply going to run an algorithm the purpose of this algorithm is that let's assume that currently we are given the word string and this are given like x number of words okay and each of them are in the different length and let's assume that the width we are given is for some example 10 now the logic is first we are going to keep on iterating across every single word plus adding a space with each word until the point where we run out of the number 10 the moment we run out of the number 10 we will have to identify that what was the last character that would not be included or the last character that uh, we can only include so let's assume that we can only include up to this point uh, in just one line which means for the next line we can consider all the remaining items now amongst these lines we are going to forget about this one space for now we are only going to be concerned with the size of the characters and see that how, what is the size of the characters we get so let's assume that we get the size of the characters as six so if the size of the characters is six for each one of them which means we will have to deal with four extra spaces so now in this case if we are dealing with even number of extra spaces so we can simply put it between these two words or all the remaining portions between any number of words and then we once again mark it as the part of the answer so these three x are going to be part of the answer so x then two spaces once again x then two spaces and then x uh, and then we are going to repeat the same process for this remaining item so this is the whole solution and in order to build the string we need to use string builder class or some sort of that fun functionality every single language has the way in order to build the string and 
this problem seems hard but it is only hard because you will have to iterate over this logic and there are a lot of different edge cases that we need to cover what is the importance of this problem well this is how actually the tools such as like word and google doc they actually do the text indentation so that's why this problem is has practical implication there are no questions in that but this specific problem does not deal with data structure as much as it deals with iterating over different strings and trying to find the reasons and that's why this is such a highly unliked problem on lead code um, but it is what it is i just explain you that how to solve this problem when we do see the coding solution things will make much more sense if we see time complexity it's pretty simple that the time complexity is going to be big o of s where s is the total number of characters that are present inside uh, this word string so sum of uh, every single character so first of all we are going to initialize an array list called lines to store our answer then we are going to have an index value starting at zero and we are going to have the condition that while index is less than the total words that dot length we are going to first of all do the count of all the words uh, length of all the words and then we are also going to keep track that what was the last value of that we have been able to identify it and we are going to put it as index plus one then we are simply going to iterate over that while last is less than the current words dot length we are simply going to keep on adding the value and keep on checking that if the next adding the next word exceeds the max width or not if it exceeds the max width we simply break if it does not exceed we increase our counter and we also increase the last pointer as well now once we are at this stage we are at a position where we have the values uh, of the words that can be included in one single string or one single line for the answer so we are going to initialize a string builder now for this string builder we are going to append the words that are currently present at the index and then we are simply going to check that if we are on the last line of the line and it has only just one word we are going to do a left justify which means we are going to put all the words that are currently present and whatever the difference is we are simply going to append that for the for our existing string builder if that is not the case uh, then we are going to calculate that how many spaces do we need to do so we are going to calculate the spaces based on the maximum width minus the count divided by the difference of the number of words and then we are going to check that what should be the extra spaces divided amongst each entity so for that we are actually using the modulo function by diff and then we are simply going to run a couple of for loops in order to generate the string that i just explained and then in the end we are going to add all the strings that we have been able to create inside our string builder and return lines that we have create initiate initiated originally the array list as the answer so let's try to run this code okay seems like our solution is working as expected let's submit this code our code runs 100% faster than all the other solutions which is pretty awesome and uh, once again i would be posting the solution in the github repository link is in the description thank you